Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to talk about growing mushrooms at home. It's something I've not done before, so I just want to bring that, you know, to your attention. And this series of videos on growing mushrooms is kind of a garden experiment. What I'm going to do is invite all of you to kind of learn how to grow them along with me. This is how I basically create my videos. I experiment with them, I learn how to do it, and with some success, I come back, make the videos to teach and show you how to do things. However, this time, I've never grown mushrooms before, so this is the first video in a series, and this shows you how to make mushroom spore prints. These are spore prints. These spores can be used then to grow your own mushrooms. And what I'm starting off with is are the um, white button mushrooms, the baby bella, or I think cremini mushrooms, and basically portobello are all the same. These are the three brown ones. They're called baby buttons and these are the white buttons. And I show you how to make these spore prints. I then can use, in theory, use these spores to grow my own mushrooms. And I'm going to grow the white button mushrooms first in cow manure. They're one of the easiest mushrooms to grow from my research, so I figured I would start with them. But today is just about the spore prints. And if you want to make videos of how you're um, if you want to join me in this experiment and you want to make videos on how you're growing your mushrooms, I'd be glad to link them to this series and really see what we can all learn and develop over the winter. This will give you something to do and this also gives me something to do. To make a spore print, these were made on December 10th. Today is uh, December 13th. And all you do is free up the gills of the mushroom, take out the stem, cut off some excess, and then you lay the mushroom on a piece of paper. Within six hours you can get a print. These have sat on there for um, almost 24 hours. This example was for 12 hours. I'll show you more of that in a second. Once you put them on there, you slide them into a Ziploc bag or you put a glass bowl over them. You just want to keep the moisture in. To prepare your mushrooms, I bought these at the store. These are the white button mushrooms. And you can see that the gills are starting to show. The membrane here is peeled off. You want a fresh looking mushroom. You want a good size somewhere between here and up to this size. really makes a difference. To prepare the mushroom for your spore print, just remove the excess mushroom like that. And that's going to let the gills be exposed and the spores will come right out. And then Let's cut the stem down so it doesn't poke up. And all you really do is just set it on a piece of paper um, for at least, some of the videos say six hours. I figured why not do 12 and 24 hours. So again, you just expose the gills, the spores will fall onto the paper, and those are actually spore prints. Let me show you one more before I get to that. And again here you can see there's a membrane covering. You're just cutting the edge off here and getting into the mushroom to expose the gills. The knife's a little bit easier. So this series of videos is going to show you how I learn to grow mushrooms in my house. And again, the white button mushrooms are what I'm going to start with because they're going to grow in this cow manure. I'll do videos on how you set that all up, but today I just wanted to do the spore prints. But you can see how nice the gills are. Those will get eaten. So the spore prints are really almost a photographic image of the spore. And I don't know, let's see how close I can get this. But you can see these look like gills right in here. This is one that sat for 24 hours and they just dropped the spores right onto the paper. You can uh, save this for a bit and then scrape the spores right into your um, growing substrate, they call it, and that will start the process of growing mushrooms. So this is an example of a mushroom that sat on here face down for 12 hours and 12 hours and you can see the prints and this is one that sat on there for almost 24 hours. And when you do this you're going to have a collection of the spores. You can use them to grow your own mushrooms indoors and I hope you join me. I think this will be kind of fun. Again, I have never grown mushrooms before. I'm just learning. I decided to start with the spore print. I invite you to learn how to do it 
and see as a group across the world, different uh, gardens in different countries, see if we can figure out how to grow mushrooms and have a successful fungus crop really inside during the fall and winter when a lot of us can't do more outside. Hope you enjoyed the video and this gives you something to be curious about and maybe try out and see if you can grow mushrooms in your house. Please check out my blog at www.therestofgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.